Oh, here comes Lou. Okay, we are recording. Ready? All right. Call the special meeting of the Germantown Central School District Board of Education to order. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America. and to the Republic, 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 Republic for which it stands, one nation, 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 under God, God with liberty, and justice for all. Justice for all. That's my favorite part. <laughs> all right. Uh, be aware, everyone, the meeting is being recorded. And lose on. All right, great. So, capital project non action item capital project update by Luis Rodriguez of the Palomo Group and Dave Samuel of CPL. Okay, guys. Hey, you guys. Uh, I'm on. Um, Sue, did you, uh, did you get my update? No. You didn't? When did you send it? I sent it uh, this morning. Um, so I was hoping uh, I could uh, I could use it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I see it. I'm sorry. I was in meetings from the first thing this morning all the way through. Do you want me uh, to? Is this? I mean, I, I can share the screen and have that up, Lou, if you want. Well, yeah, what I, what I thought would be good is that if you shared the screen, I could just sort of talk to some of the stuff. I mean, it's just a visual. Um, and then, you know, we could talk, you know, we have some Q&A. Okay. Okay. Okay, if you want to start with a couple other things, it'll take me a minute or two to get that set up. Okay, so just an uh, overview on the project. Um, we have the uh, GC, Bass Hatfield, uh, current contract value. And the uh, screen's not up yet. Current contract value is at uh, 4.695, almost 4.7 million. Um, doing a good job they've uh, you know really been keeping to what we've expected to be the schedule we're uh, uh, you know really been pushing towards uh, an August completion which is still earlier than uh, what our original completion date was supposed to be uh, per their contract their completion date is supposed to be October um, we shifted everything up and we're still pushing for the end of, uh, end of August. So everything's working out really well, uh, with Bass. Uh, Condor is your plumbing and fire sprinkler contract. Uh, their contract is at $704,530 currently. And, uh, again, uh, uh, they're doing the right things. They're doing the toilet renovations. They're also doing the uh, storm water piping and the toilets in the in the addition. And they're also doing the fire sprinkler. We've been going back and forth with them on the uh, pump house out outside. We are almost to terms with uh, their final change order, and that'll be that'll be presented. Uh, to you guys uh, shortly after it's it, it'll be it, it'll be pretty quick um, but uh, that's the final thing we have to do with them to I get the pump house ordered go ahead Lou I can share the screen now if you'd like Good. oops Okay, it should be up. Yeah. Okay, so if you uh, if you scroll to 
uh, the next page. One more. There we go. So this is where I was just uh, was just talking about the contract values on each one of the companies and uh, basically where they're at. I started with Bass. I talked about Condor. Uh, Del Signor is shown up on top. You'll see the uh, revised contract value at uh, 1.224 million. Um, they're doing a pretty good job out, out in the fields. Um, uh, they've established a lot of the turf. The baseball field is in play. Uh, a lot of the storm water, uh, all the storm water is in play. They have been currently working on the uh, sidewalks at the front of the building and entry of the front of the building. There were some trip hazards that were part of their scopes of work. So, uh, you know, that work is all, is all ongoing with them. Um, E.W. Tompkins is your, uh, sorry guys, it's my dog. Uh, E.W. Tompkins is the uh, uh, mechanical contractor. They're, uh, they're actually in a good place right now. Uh, their current contract value is $1,104,000. Um, all the equipment is here, ductwork is in place. Uh, really, uh, they've been doing a good job. Um, no issues there with, with those guys as far as schedule. Uh, DLC Electric, their contract is uh, at $1.676 million. Um, they've been, uh, right now, they're working on all the lighting controls. Um, everything that's behind the walls, of course, has to be completed. You know, they've been doing a good job as well, uh, keeping up. And everybody here is on schedule for the completion at the end of October, really the inside of the building, exclusive of any of the work with the pump house. We are uh, working on change orders with each one of these contractors uh, associated with the uh, pump house. Um, and we'll come back with the, we'll come back to the board with uh, with what those uh, final changes are. Uh, any <clears throat> any questions on the uh, on the contract just before I move on? I think we're good. All right, so uh, go to the next page. So really, th this is more of the the show and tell of things. We're going to just go through through some project photos. Go ahead, Sue. So this is uh, uh, the uh, lighting control room. Um, it's in the back. I think some of you guys have seen it before. There's, uh, it's just a, you know, there's a lot going on back there, but I just wanted to have a picture of it. Um, some high, you know, high-end equipment that's back there. Keep going, Sue. Uh, picture of the ball fields, uh, the ball field, should I say. It's looking at, looking towards the building. Um, again, we're in a good position here. Uh, the, the one thing that we are still looking to shop that we, that wasn't part of the project, we have the backstop and any, uh, in the fencing on the outside because uh, those, those numbers came in real high. So we're, uh, we're getting some numbers on that. But uh, the fields themselves are, are coming in, coming in well. And the uh, the irrigation right now associated with with the fields, we're using your irrigation system that was completed in your last project. It had been abandoned for a period of time. We had it tested, and uh, the local uh, Department of Health has approved it as a as an irrig for irrigation purposes. Uh, so that saved us uh, $50,000 or better uh, for uh, turf maintenance on the project. So that's a, a big savings by uh, utilizing your existing well. Okay, Sue. 
for an entry um, may be a little hard to see, but you'll see that the the side, of course, the sidewalks are in play, uh, curbs and sidewalks are in play, which were all there were, there were you know a bunch of trip hazards there. Uh, also, what's happening is you'll see if you you can see a a, a framed out doorway. Mm -hmm. which is going to be uh, an entrance there to the new vestibule area. Um, so again, we're, uh, we're in a good position for having that work completed. The inside uh, spaces are completed or uh, everything's being painted and getting uh, ready for finishes. So we're in a good spot for having the uh, security, that whole new security vestibule uh, completed uh, before the start of school. Go ahead, Sue. I liked uh, this picture is, is uh, just showing you some of the nice colors uh, that are happening inside the uh, the bathroom. So what we decided, we took a credit, a credit change order uh, from the GC. It was significant. It was over $14,000 uh, for tile work on the walls. We're still going to do some work on the floors, but what we decided to do, we take the credit for the tile work on the floor, on the walls and just paint them. And it, I think they're, you know, the, the bathrooms are going to look good um, uh, when we're complete. They're going to have a nice, fresh look to them. Next. This is a picture. Now, when you walk into the building, uh, this will be uh, the new uh, corridor connection uh, for the uh, auditorium. So you'll have, have uh, uh, your ticket, your ticket and coat on the right, or what what you you guys decide to do on there in that area exactly. Thanks, Sue. And then uh, <clears throat> and then it's a nice big open entry uh, walking towards the uh, towards the auditorium. Um, it's yeah, this is going to look it's going to look really nice. And, uh, you know, all the all of the tiles going to match. Everything's going to match. Everything's going to look really good. We saved uh, a lot of the uh, the block and brick there for pe for patchwork that was required to make sure we we made it all look like it was supposed to be there. So uh, and you'll you'll see that the walls have already been primed and uh, we're ready for. Uh, for final paint. Okay, Sue. So. so this is the uh, uh, the auditorium lobby area, and when you look to the left, if you see the glass, if you look at the glass, you can sort of you can see through the glass. You can see the connecting corridor to the front uh, as you pass as you look through it. So it gives you a sort of uh, a positioning of where where you are in the uh, in the lobby. Uh, when you look up, you can see the soffited, or should I say, the 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 tray. There's uh, tray uh, ceilings that are there. Um, we're going to have uh, drop ceilings uh, tied into uh, those tray areas that are going to really pop and look really nice. Um, and you see all the ductwork that's that's above that. So the drop ceilings are there. All the, the mechanical work is right there for uh, it, it, above the drop ceilings for access and maintenance for the future. And then you have the uh, the hard lit areas for, you know, it gives you that a uh, little more drama, the, the dramatic uh, uh, look when you walk in. This has all been primed, and is uh, is ready uh, is ready for paint. So it's, it you know it looks it looks great. Next. So this is looking at the uh, proscenium, and it and it gives you the the scale. If you look at, at what I like about this picture, you look at the guy on the on the left, and <laughs> you see how small he looks compared to the whole opening. But and you see all the sheetrock work that's happening there. Um, uh, we're uh, we're in a really good position with that finish work. Uh, a lot of when the board walked through, we were uh, we were doing tile work on the walls. Um, 80 to 90 percent of that tile work has been completed so it's it's really coming together and it looks great um so that just 
it gives you the scale of that uh, of that opening, and it looks it's gonna it's gonna be really be special when it's uh, when it's done. Um, next. So this is a picture of the uh, music room and the uh, you know the the stands the group or the stadium effect for uh, uh, for the musical equipment you know the guys just everyone just practicing so you can see that that's being set up you have a, a plywood um, uh, flooring uh, deck and then that'll be finished uh, and then behind it you see the big window opening. We've left that open on purpose because it's been a, a great access point for material deliveries and whatnot. We're just finishing up, so, uh, but that space has really turned out to be uh, a pretty special space. It's it's really nice. Thanks, next, Sue. So here's just a, a look um, from, I have a picture in a corner and that's from the stage looking out at the control booth and then the other uh the other sh the main shot is really from the right side looking at the control booth and just gives you an idea so the control booth is really uh you know for your productions that whole area up there there's going to be a lot going on from that and and then you have up on top if you look on right to the top to the left of the control booth there's your catwalk you know and there's going to be the ability from your control booth you get up into the catwalk area for uh spotlighting and whatnot so it's uh it's it's really cool how the the space is coming together on either side of the um of that uh of that space when you look at the entry on either side there's also going to be uh, stadium seating on either side of the entry as well and that that hasn't been uh completed yet but uh, just you know that's that's the next step we already had uh the seating contractor come in uh, we started to lay out uh for the seats to make sure everything fits and uh that's that's going well as well the uh the picture in the corner it probably doesn't show real well but the picture in the corner to the left of it you'll see the framing work for the uh for the stadium seating that's already started on the left side of the uh of the control booth area. Next. So this is the outside elevation of the building. Um, the outside elevation of the building, the lower uh, major course is all stone. Uh, uh, so when you look at that first, uh, you know, 10, uh, 10, 12 feet, that's all, that's all a hard, very hard surface. It's all ground face block. It comes up to a bull nose. And then from there on, it's an EFIS product. And that was uh, something we did uh, during the bid process to value engineer to bring some value back to the project. So high, uh, high up is EFIS, low where there's more potential for, uh, you know, something hitting the building. We, uh, that's a, it's a harder service, but, uh, the two really come together really nicely, um, and it's got a it's got a really it's got a really great look. Um, the tones work well, and, it's, and it ties in with uh, with the rest of the building. Um, and I I think that's the last picture. Yeah, and of course safety um, on the safety side, I don't have it mentioned here, but we do uh, for the on the COVID side. Uh, on a daily basis now, we are taking uh, temperatures of every contractor uh, that come on site, and we are having them uh, fill out uh, regular forms as to uh, where they've been, who they've been in contact with, if they've uh, been away, where have they been. Um, you know, we're asking all the questions and we have this, uh, we have that fully documented and that's being done on a daily basis now. Uh, so Joe is, he's, he's documenting all the temps on all the guys that are out there on a daily basis, uh, and, you know, on the first side of safety. And then um, on the second side of that, of course, we're trying to just keep, continue to keep the building contained as, as much as possible and, uh, you know, get to a place where, uh, 
you know, you know, we're ready for opening in August. So uh, that's uh, that's my side, Dave. Dave, I don't know if you wanted to add anything uh, above and beyond that. No, not really. That was a pretty thorough uh, description of what's going on. Does everybody see Dan's comment? So, yeah, it it does absolutely it looks amazing. And so I think I think that at your next or either at your next meeting or close to your next meeting, you'll be ready for another walkthrough because you do your building walkthrough at the end of August. So you can think about whether you want to integrate it into this meeting or you have a separate meeting uh, like you normally do for your complete building. I know Sue has discussed that with us about being prepared to do that, which we will be ready to do. So that's the August 26th meeting. Where is that off the Wednesday or is that on the Wednesday, Sue? It is, it's the same as our, your typical okay. capital project um, update Wednesday. So that'll be, um, yeah. So maybe do the walkthrough and then have the board meeting following if that's okay. Yeah, be good. If we're all there, we could probably just do it there. It'd be a lot easier the board meeting from here. Mm -hmm. If everybody's comfortable with that. What time for the walkthrough? I think uh, what we've done in the past is 530 because it's in place of a facilities meeting. Um, but last time we started at five, I think to make sure folks had enough time um, in case they wanted to go home or didn't want to stay in person for the meeting. It's up to you. I guess I, I don't, it just depends on if people want to stay or not. I mean, I have no problem staying, so 5, 5.30 would work for me. 5.30 is good with me. Yeah, it's fine with me. Okay. And what date is that now? The August 26th. That would be our other, the next meeting. And that's already listed as your uh, subcommittee meeting. Uh, our yeah, it's on the subcommittee meetings, right, Lynn? Yeah, it's as for the walkthrough rounds. Yeah, except everybody comes to the walkthrough. All right. Yeah. Any uh, any other questions? I mean, I, I think it's really come together. It's uh, you know we've we've had you know some tough spots with this thing, especially with uh, with COVID. But you know it's great as we. We've been able to keep this thing running, so. Uh, Thank um, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you know, everybody, everyone's really come together in the right way. Again, it's not an easy. This is not an easy project, so. Um, it's 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 you know I'm happy to see where we're at. We still got the the pump house as our final uh, hurdle, uh, just uh, finalizing uh, agreements on, on the changes there. But uh, other than that, we're, uh, you know, the, the building looks great. It's really coming together. And uh, we want to be in a good place for you guys uh, at the know. start of Come school. Over here. It's a boy. No. Okay. no I, I, I think, you know, I think everybody's too commented on the, uh, the clipper ship and how that totally sets off the, the building. So that was a great. Great addition. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it really does. It looks great. So right from the walkthrough, we're going to go into the Mary Harder gym and have our meeting. Well, the plan right now is to go into the high school library. We have a different setup and there's an air conditioner in there after our yeah. last experience. <laughs> uh, but we will experiment with that in the beginning of August and we'll know if that's working or not, if that's okay. agreeable to the board. Yeah, that's fine. Because our first meeting in August will, will be in person and we'll try the live stream from the library. Mm -hmm. 
which will be fun. Yeah. All right, so anybody has any other questions for? No. No. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'll see you this coming month. Yep, take care. Thank you. All right, financial action items. Adopt the following resolution. Be it resolved that the Board of Education hereby approves the following change orders in connection with the 2015 capital project as presented to the board at this meeting. Change order number GC-003 to the site construction contract with Bass Hatfield Construction. Uh, LLC for the amount of $5,224.05 to be added to the contract amount with Bast Hatfield Construction LLC and change order number GC-004 to the site construction contract with Bast Hatfield Construction LLC for the amount of $15,002.08 to be added to the contract amount with Bast Hatfield Construction LLC and be it further resolved that the Board of Education, the Board hereby authorizes the Board President to sign the above change orders on behalf of the district. Copy the change orders are incorporated by reference within the minutes of this meeting. Any in motion? I'll make that motion. Donald? Yep. Second. All right, last second. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain? Or, uh, sorry. No, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> All right, motion carried. All right, anything else for? So we're meeting on the, the first meeting is at school at normal time. Is there a committee meeting before that one, Sue? No. No. So it's August 12th, 6.30. Okay. The high school library, and I'll have information about what door to um, arrive at, but it's likely we'll ask you to arrive on the main street side. Okay. Um, and then the walkthrough will be at 530 on, on August 26th for the meeting to follow. All right. Need a motion to adjourn? I'll make it. All right. Second? Second. All right, Les. <laughs> all right. Uh, all, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Right. So carried. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Have a nice night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.